the jewels. Yes, it was war, all right. Right away, the supermarkets were empty. I'm not sure it's even worth getting a cart. I saw it first. Let go of that. Come on, stop it. Mind your own business. What's her problem? Forget about it, Mom. If stores were closed for a single day, you'd probably eat each other. And you call yourselves civilized people? If everyone took only what they needed, there would be enough to go around. And in the parking lot, how many boxes of rice did we get? Uh, two. Hmm. We'll go to the store across the street and try to get more. You never know. There wasn't much at the gas stations either. Do you have any jerry cans? Jerry cans? Why? Why do you think to make strawberry soda? Don't talk to my mother like that. Every morning, I have to drive 40 miles so that you can have a peaceful life. How am I going to do that with no car? Huh? That's why I need cans for gasoline. Can you understand that? The car runs on gas. Look, I am so sorry, darling. I've been running around the whole day. I've got a splitting headache. You know what? I'm just going to fill up the tanks, and then we'll try to find a restaurant. I hope you're proud of yourself. After we made up, we went home with my father. It took us until two in the morning. We obviously didn't go to any restaurant. We don't fill cans. Otherwise, there won't be enough for everyone. All right. Too bad. But do you know what's going on? The press isn't saying anything. Of course they're not saying anything. It's a huge mess. Iraq bombed the ref the refinery at Abaddon. My God, Molly. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Molly was my mother's childhood friend. She lived in Abaddon with her husband and two kids. Quick, call them. Ring, ring, ring. No one's answering. Did you try her mother? She should know what happened. I tried to place too. I tried her place too, but she's deaf. After Abaddon, every, order, every border town was targeted by bombers. Most of the people living in those areas had to flee northward, far from the Iraqi missiles. Ding dong. Who could that be at this hour? I have no idea. Molly? Everything's destroyed. Hey, it'll be okay. Calm down. Look at this. That's all I could save. Oh. Come on, boys. I'll fix you some hot chocolate. I don't like it. Me neither. First, we went to my mother's house. We kept ringing the doorbell, but she's deaf. I'm sorry. No, you did the right thing coming here. That house costs a million. That house cost a million. A million up in smoke. Can you imagine that? My father wasn't so fond of Molly's husband. He thought he was too materialistic. They did have a really nice house. We spent our vacation there a few years earlier. The marble alone cost $10,000. I see. Okay, here you go. Your bed is ready. Our house is your house. The kids can sleep in Margie's room. Oh, thank you, Taji. Yes, thanks. You too. Follow me. You don't have any toys? No, I'm all grown up. I have books if you want. I can read you a story. At my house, we had all the Star Wars stuff. I had a Darth Vader. Lucky you. Do you like Star Wars? I like Princess Leia. Leia? Layla? Whoa, she's ugly. Okay, now it's time to go to bed. Good night, kids. Molly and her family spent a week with us. That's how long it took to sell the jewelry and start over again. Molly's mother was bitter and hard to deal with, and deaf. 
but they were happy at our place. Then, one day, we went to the supermarket. God, what brats. I want that. I want that over there. Hey, they still have kidney beans. We can make chili tonight. Okay, we'll just forget about the flatulence factor. What's flatulence? Well, farts. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Poo-poo. Since the refugees have descended on Theran, you can't get anything to eat anymore. You're right there. They take everything. My neighbor even said that she heard what their women are, that their women are prostituting themselves. No dignity at all. Soon, it won't just be food. With all those sluts out there, we're going to have to watch our husbands. Anyway, as everyone knows, quote, southern women are all whores. Huh? You're, it's terrible what you're saying. How humiliating. Farts. To have the Iraqi, to have the Iraqis attack, and to lose in an instant everything you have built over a lifetime, that's one thing. But to be spat upon by your own kind, it is intolerable. I felt so ashamed for myself. And felt so sorry for her. Huh?